welcome to Hack Scream Gamer, the show that asks the question, can you feel the love tonight? I'm your host, Michael Riley, with me is Dane Forgione. It's enough to make kings and poopy pants. And Jason Amherst. Porn, porn, porn. Okay. Well, uh, that, that was related to something I said before I hit record, so Jason just looks like a weird old pervert. <laughs> Because there's no context. <laughs> if you were there's, never, there's never context. That's fair. Nikki, I am trying to read. I love the way the werewolves howl in this. Ow! It makes me think Werewolf they're trying to say, Kauki Crisp. I saw a werewolf pulling his pants in Trader Vicks. <laughs> Trader I thought you were going to say Trader Joe's for a minute. Like, what the fuck was a werewolf doing in Trader Joe's? <laughs> um, shopping. Uh, po pooping his pants, apparently. Yeah. The ones with a werewolf pooping his pants in Trader Joe's. He and only went in there perfect. to get a salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Werewolves of Trader Joe's. Ow. I saw a werewolf licking Molly Wingroll's butt. Wow. That's crazy. Really weird. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, listen, leave me alone. I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah, so is Jason, but he's not talking about... Werewolves wrecking Molly Ringwald's butt. Okay. <laughs> You're kind Werewolves of, up the butt. I don't know. kind of silly. I said, I said, werewolves up the butt. I said, what, what in the butt? In the butt. I said, I said werewolves up the butt. Did you put uh, a tin can the in your butt? Werewolves up the butt. Did you put a whole man in your butt? <laughs> How do you put a whole man in your butt? With with uh, with a thousand bottles of lube. Jesus. Oh, so then P Diddy helped. Just buy yeah. just buy like industrial yeah. drums. That way you don't have to buy a, sh a shitload of bottles. Just buy two industrial drums of lube, and you have enough lube for probably a, a millennia. I'll be honest. Doesn't need to be rocket yeah. science. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do 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 do. Get there. We go. <laughs> yeah. I saw a werewolf making out with Mike Riley. <laughs> Can we not talk about my ex-girlfriend? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hey, Ashley, Mike thinks you're a werewolf. Yeah, because Ashley's the only woman I've ever dated. I'm such a loser. I've only ever had one girlfriend oh, in my, my entire yeah. fucking life. Shut up. <laughs> hey, you're the one that said it. You just you immediately went to Ashley when I said ex-girlfriend. Just because I said Ashley doesn't, you know, doesn't mean that I thought you only I mean, had one girlfriend then you why fool. did you pick her because she's the last i think one that they mean you sub date. i mean that means you sub subconsciously you think she's a werewolf <laughs> yes okay yeah, then. You're, you're right i do <laughs> you're mm -hmm. right <laughs> that's see that's why i don't want her on the show because then she'll infect us with her werewolf germs <laughs> like canthropy <laughs> <laughs> You want? Do you want all of us to turn into werewolves? I don't. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh. Oh! I just farted. Somebody on the internet's internet's watching this show going. Why the fuck did I subscribe to this channel? 
How does this channel have almost a hundred subscribers? <laughs> it's true though. We're not very far away from a hundred, which is nice. Uh, I, it might be over a hundred by the time you see this, actually. So, to all you subscribers out there, oh yeah, <laughs> Dane really gets off on you subscribing. <laughs> mm, oh, subscribe some more, please. <laughs> I'm a subscriber. I'm a subscriber. I'm not going to give Whoa. up. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, he quacked. He quacked under the pressure. <laughs> this is like that Descendant song. Everything sucks today. <laughs> Or, Most, or in the case of ejaculation, uh, everything blows to the That's there you go. Fur, furry. Furry? What? Mm. <laughs> the fuck did I say furry? <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. See, don't go know. back to werewolves. You that's what you Hey, I I don't judge. I know. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. We're all okay. We're all okay. Oh, there's a. We're all crazy now. Wild, wild, and crazy. <laughs> Alright, that's Chavez, Omar Gooding, and Donnie Donny Jeffcoat. Jeffcoat. Yep. I think there was some. I think there was somebody different after like season three. Um, Jessica Gaines. Jess I, Jessica Gaines. That's it. Yep. She replaced well, I, Annette. I forget who went first. Was it Jessica Gaines or? I think it was. I think it was Annette first, and then it was Jessica. The password is Bilk. It's my favorite drink. Bialik. My M Bialik. Love I, I Look, love who's dropping. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look who's talking. Would you make out with my M Bialik? Yes, I would. There you go. Because she's a very attractive woman. And she's fucking intelligent as fuck. She's a... Exactly. She is a scientist. Mm-hmm. Listen here, Bebe. This is, this is Bebe's kids. <laughs> All right. I'm going to need... Oh, there he is. Wild, wild and crazy. <laughs> wild and crazy. Wild and wild and wild and wild and crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> wild and crazy. <laughs> God, this this well, level is just combining all the bullshit at once. Like, yo, know, ants, giant baby, uncles. Small baby. I mean, the ants are also giant. Mm. So it's just giant everything. Everything is huge and massive and huge. Except for the one thing. It? Except for the one thing I want to be massive and huge. But, but wait a minute now. Is it massive though? Yeah. Okay. Follow up question. Is it also huge? Believe it or not, yes. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, there you is. Gotta get down there. I gotta get down gotta go, there. Gotta go back in time. I don't know why there's a trampoline in the mall, but all right. Trampoline! 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 Monopoly. Monopoly. 
for Monopoly. I will go to jail directly there without a fine, and I will roll and save my life for the life oh. of me. You didn't have to cut my cut. I, I didn't have to cut your what now, sir? <laughs> it was... Somebody put the um, combined Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force into the Gautier song. Oh. <laughs> so, Where the piss is the other? <laughs> Where? Where the piss? Oh, there's one. What the piss? A baby. Shit is babies, kids. Where the piss is my baby? Well, that Rolling Stone song would have had a way different meaning, I think. Brown Where? sugar. <laughs> Has anybody pissed my baby? And then they immediately well, get sued by Katie Lang because it sounds like constant craving. Hi, I'm Katie Lang. I'm androgynous. And I'm also suing you. Yeah. It's true, though. Constant craving, did, constant craving did sound a lot like that, that Rolling Stones song. I mean, I know obviously Which? the Katie Lang song came first. Has anybody seen my... Baby, that one. Mm -hmm. I believe it is just called Anybody Seen My Baby. But yeah, K Katie Lang's song sounds very similar. Constant craving. Oh, okay. I think Katie Lang had a pretty good case there for that one. Well, to be fair. Okay. Apparently, Katie Lang was given writing credit. Yeah, I, th I think that was the result of her lawsuit, was that she was given writing credit for it. Where the fuck is this last thing, person, place? Thing. Hulk Hogan. I don't want to find him. He racist. No. Oh, God. Have you seen... There's been a bunch of videos of some comedian who's been trolling Hulk Hogan. What? Well, uh, I don't think I've seen these videos. So, at various appearances, Hulk Hogan has done for his uh, stupid beer thing. This guy. Yeah. Hey, everybody, drink been... my stupid beer thing. <laughs> Real American beer. Some, well, I'm not even dignifying it with a name. Real American beer. <laughs> hey, we salute you, stupid Hulk Hogan face. Mr. Stupid Hulk Hogan face. Hulk Hogan, you're so dumb. Really dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to, oh man, I'm trying to find this. Robbie, yeah, I, I, I've seen the clips because uh, the guy showed up at one of them wearing a the shirt that said the MAGA powers. Well, he Robbie Road Steamer is his name. He's been showing up and just fucking trolling the shit out of Hulk Hogan. And at one of them, he showed up in a bear costume to throw off people. And after he left, Hulk Hogan's handler followed him to a Starbucks like, oh, what, what's your problem? Oh, what are you doing to Hulk Hogan, fucking loser? And it's just this big, fat, out of shape guy trying desperately to sound, like, intimidating. But, like, the guy sounds like he's getting winded saying a complete sentence. So, yeah. Okay, I the the last one is over here, but I don't know how to get there. We were only poop pants. Yeah, I I've seen uh, I've seen the videos because like one of them 
the guy takes off his shirt and underneath is a red t-shirt drawn on in sharpie it says maga powers he's like yeah no we're we're the maga powers bro we're we're gonna elbow drop kamala harris you know and, and, the, and those lip cards yep and hulk oh, is man, like, it, is, it is the funniest thing ever it certainly is Especially Hulk Hogan's shocked Pikachu people. He's like, Dwol, Gorge, who is this guy? Uh, I, I don't know how to react to this right now. Like, <laughs> hey, it's like, almost uh, like... It's almost like we all knew the entire time that Hulk Hogan was kind of a scumbag. Yeah. But I digress. I don't want any beeps near my daughter. <clears throat> yeah. What? I mean, we all know about the story of how he uh, fired a uh, uh, fired the uh, models showing off his beard. Mm hmm. They happened to be black. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. I, I can't help but wonder. Is he a little bit racist? Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. There'll be no fap into that. <laughs> it's the least faptastic thing I've ever heard. Feliz Fapastock! Do, 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 do. I don't know why I just did that. I don't know either. You're kind of silly. Police, not my dad. Police, not my dad. Please don't arrest my dad. He only does. I don't know. Fuck it. I didn't have a good ending for that. <laughs> no, you certainly didn't. So Mel Gibson's in this level? A raging anti-Semitic person? Sure. I only said that because the level is called Dances with Werewolves. You did, don't you? Kevin Costner was in Dances with Wolves. Is that's that what, what, that's what I meant, yeah. Kevin Gibson. Mal Costner. Gibson, Gibson Foo Foo. Ah, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boingy. Hold on. And the boingy. Cabroing. Give me cheerleader. Baby and exit. Yay! Making our way through this, making our way through this. Bumble where you to a bumble where you to <laughs> Excuse me, but your balls are showing bumblebee tuna. Uh. Whoops. Remember. I wasn't trying to do that. Remember everybody. Punch, punch. That was a sequel to Ace Ventura. A nature. 
<laughs> a call. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Hi. Ashley. It's Hi. time Hi. for Ask Ashley. Let's get out of here! The world jerks to break us all. Damn it! I did it again. Yeah, I wasn't able to do the thing that I wanted to do because by the time I was like halfway where it needed to go, I uh, started to feel like I was going to pass out. So I, I'm home. I'm okay. But that's okay. My health matters. Uh oh. Uh. Well, welcome to the second episode of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So now, don't let the baby get eaten by Dracula. Dracula, Dracula. <laughs> so, Ashley, what's it like being a werewolf? <laughs> being a werewolf? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. let's just say that if I was on one end of Staten Island, a girl would probably smell your spank pussy. I'm kidding. Um, it's, it's good fur. You can't wear silver. Uh, you are constantly for me. You're cutting in and out very bad. Okay. I was gonna say I don't know I don't understand what seventy three of those about, words were. Some about the pussy of Frank Silver, whoever the fuck that is. I don't know. I have a new phone and I'm feeling like the phone is uh, still getting acquainted. Like I have a Samsung S twenty three plus. That's, okay, that's the phone that I had last before I switched to iPhone. It worked worked fine to me. Well, well, I also have an otter box on it because, you know, I'm reckless. Well, that shouldn't interfere with your audio quality. Yeah. All right. Is it better? Yes. Okay. I was making a joke about how vampire or, uh, vampirism is not where it's at, but lycanthropy is because you can have all the feral sex you want. There you go. All of the does, sex. That, does that answer your question, Dane? No, but... Well, why the fuck well, not? Well, Pookie, sometimes in life we can't get the questions answered that we want answered. But just remember that I'm, I'm, I'm not your father, but I love you. Well, I know you're Ooh. not your father, not my father, because you do love me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has a point. He has a point, folks. Yes, I, I better. I was gonna say I better put a hat on it. Uh, so how are my boys doing? I don't know. I'll let you know when I talk to them next. Oh, left to uh, right. Well. I trust everyone's doing well. It's it's a Thursday. Thanks, David Bones? Lynch. <laughs> Today is Here's Thursday. The Here's the weather report. It's muggy and it's pissing rain outside. Yep. Not here. It's fucking hot as fuck and not raining at all. That's bullshit. It shouldn't be this hot in September. <laughs> yeah, it's, know, it's drizzly and know, shitty here. I know this is airing on Halloween, but we're recording it in September when it, my balls are stuck to my leg. Oh yeah, it's 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 a little warm and it gets a little body at night. Like it even turns your vagina into a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that seems a little. That seems a little yucky. A little, a little I gotta. I gotta. I gotta oh, do excessive. some laundry tomorrow. That's a what? I gotta do some laundry. 
tomorrow. Congrats. You want a cookie or a mookie? Uh, well, you can get me some male nookie. Uh, uh, no, nookie. I can't. Um, <laughs> I can't get any nookie for myself. What makes you think I can get you any? <laughs> you guys you can't get any wookie. You have to use your Han Solo. Huh. Oh my god. Thanks, Gilbert Godfrey. You're welcome. That's crap. You people are fucking sick. What do you mean, yeah. you people? Oh, that's that's where I got that joke from. I know. Okay. Game Collect game the cheer. Banana, 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 banana. Another one of my favorite quotes of all time. When life gives you lemons, make kiwi pop tarts or something like that. <sighs> Weird Al. When life gives you lemons, suck a fart out of my ass. <laughs> we were only freshmen. For Monopoly, I could not be boardwalk. I was trying, I just wanted to be the dog, and they took it. I'm the car. But a life of me, thing. at least I'm not the thimble. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that was my joke, I'll kill you. <laughs> that verb pipe song got very violent. I'm gonna kill your mommy with the chainsaw. You have to, get, you have to resurrect her first. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. I just meant specific, no specific mommies. <laughs> There's the title of the episode. No specific mommies. Mm-hmm. Remember? Remember that Resident Evil game with the big titty goth mommy? Oh, uh, Leon Redfield. We will be burp. We will be burp. Leon does have some some big some big middies. That that is guaranteed. Bon honker and congos. Bahonga Bahana Nanga Mongolo Gongas. <laughs> Kong Konga La Bongos. <laughs> Para Balar La Bomba. Se necesita una poca de grazi. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> I ain't sticking around to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Can't stand a little Spanish? What's the matter? I don't like talking about tit tats. Only asses. Um, <laughs> How many asses? What up, I'm Garrett. Well, I'm I, had a, I had to give a guess to me. Yeah. Seven, seven yeah, asses. Seven asses. <laughs> seven asses out of ten. <laughs> this is a rating system. <laughs> Just line up ten people with butts. Dismiss three of them. Three, yeah, th <laughs> three of them are really saggy. <laughs> uh, eight. Seven eight out of ten. It's yeah. straight up eight. Come on, silly werewolf. You can't chase after him. That's right, Ashley. You can't chase after him. Well, that's not me on the screen. That werewolf doesn't have blonde hair. Actually, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I tr if I was a lycanthrope, would all of my body fur be like the color of my hair, or would it just be like gray or You're black? We are a lycanthrope. We've we've been through this. <laughs> Look, there's pluses and cons to all of the monsters, like vampires 
They have the power of persuasion. They're incredibly yeah. strong. Listen, the pro for being a werewolf, you're actually Miller. The con, you, your boobs are <laughs> You know what? That's okay, though. That's okay, because I'm still going to be really jacked when I'm in my lycanthropy form. And yeah, okay, I'll have hairy titties, but, Tid- you know. Titties? John F. Tiddity? <laughs> I remember, I remember, I am John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Ask not what your country rule? can do for That's you. That's got to be a Rule 63 JFK, John F. Kennedy. <laughs> I remember, look at the way I swing around. Bogunga, bogunga, bogunga. <laughs> now, uh, boobity, 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 boobity. Now, uh, Jackie, she's uh, she's got a nice set of knockers, but I uh, uh, I think I got a decent set myself. Now, as for RFK Jr., he's just a boob. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, honestly, I think uh, I think my man breasts are uh, better than Ted's. <laughs> At least Ted's breasts killed somebody. <laughs> Uh, I I cannot confirm you, or deny that. But if you suck I, I on Ted Kennedy's breasts, you get dr- com- really blitzed. <laughs> and you fall off a bridge. Oof. I uh, I can't confirm or deny that, but I definitely know that my brother and I we uh, we ran a train on Marilyn Monroe. It's uh, it's my brother and me. This was a show on Nickelodeon. Never mind. Come to find out. One of the kids from my brother and me also played like the main character on Sea Bear and Jamal. Well, which one? That kind of. It, it was the me. <laughs> it was the me. Got it. The old great man, she ain't what she used to be. Fuck you. Go, 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 play you. Go, go, play you. Godzilla. Horse, hor, horseshoe. Peanuts. Gojira, the French metal band. Oh, oh, they got. I know Stranded was a really popular song, but that song that they did at the Paris Olympics, I thought they got them uh, famous again in America. And I'm like, why were they never not famous? The fuck? I mean, I like them. Plus, the drummer's cool, too. He got, before uh, NBC decided to take away the uh, late night, uh, like, AD band from Seth Meyers, one of the guest drummers was the drummer from Gojira, and he actually was really cool. Funny, too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. Okay, so since I'm a lycanthrope, which which other of the universal monsters are we? Let me guess. Jake is a vampire. Uh, Mike is the creature from the no. Mike. The creature from the no. Got You're it. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's he's the he's the the mud monster, like the mud monster <laughs> with the mud flaps. That's not a God damn it! Monster. I bathe. I don't know why people say these things. It's hurtful. Talk about the weird fish man with the fish fingers. That's the creature from the Black Lagoon. First of all, yes, no. if I have fish fingers, it's because I was uh, doing some things. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck it. Well, Mike fish likes fingers. fish fingers. Fish fingers and custard. Ugh. Ooh. That, uh, that, that leads to yeast infections. And Billy. Uh, Billy is obviously the invisible man. Yes. Uh, at, at present, yes. Um, what was the thing we have to say three times in order to summon him? I uh, titty juice, titty juice, titty yeah, juice. Bo- booby juice, booby juice, booby juice. Well, I was talking more like the Universal Monsters in the present company. I mean, Jace is clearly, Jace would clearly be of the vampiric variety. And now we know that the creature from the Black Lagoon is Mike. So, Dane, does that make you Bill Moomy? Does that make well, me? Did you say does that make Dane Bill Moomy? <laughs> you know what? 
Don't mind me. No, 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 no. You know what? This is... <laughs> it's canon now. Dana's Bill Moomy. I don't like to admit this. <laughs> but, um... I, I am Bill Moomy. You're right. <laughs> you don't like to admit that you are uh, Sean's dad and Sean of the Dead? <laughs> I don't like to admit that I wrote the song. Fish heads, fish heads. you only poly fish heads. <laughs> Look who's coming to dinner. They <laughs> can't play baseball. They don't wear sweaters. They're not good dancers. They don't play drums. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. never seen drinking cappuccino in Italian restaurants with Oriental women. Yeah. Times were different back then. Yeah. Those are, those are the lyrics to the song. Yep. That's what I was saying. Times are different back then. Yeah. And, of course, uh, the our, uh, the Kazulu sensor is a song for Diva. Cthulhu. Well, it's like if I say the name of it, it's only because I'm saying the name of the song. Oh no! Who? Rescued the baby just in time. If you were, if the baby had died, I would have been very upset. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. We did that joke already. Yeah. God damn it. We did that joke in the first episode. Oh, <laughs> okay, if you, if you guys run into the old lady, I'll just be like, Someone save Ruth Buzzy, please! You're an American icon! You know... <laughs> Are you planning out jokes now? <laughs> what I... Listen, guys, when I see the old lady, I'm going to call out, Hey, it's Ruth Buzzy! It's okay? going gonna, gonna gonna to be hilarious! <laughs> hey, fuck off! It's the international pressure! Hey, fuck Jim on! Granny. Fuck on! Fuck off! Fuck on, fuck off! Fuck the fucker! The fucker. <laughs> that fucker. Giant ant farm! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Hey guys, look, it's Ruth Buzzing. <laughs> look, someone's got to save the, the first generational fenster, okay? That's like she's a national treasure. But apparently now all she does is collect old cars and shit. Which is it, not a bad hobby. It really sounds like, because of the way your microphone's going in and out, that you said old cars and pits. <laughs> old cars and old cars and pits. Ugh. Old <laughs> cars and pits. Oh my Jump god! Is, her in. is that Anne pumping you? Probably. Get off me! God damn, these ants are very, very vicious. Yeah, and the uncles ain't ain't nothing to sneeze at either. Oh, oh my god. Get in the fucking Ooh, door. A... God damn. Why was that such a difficult oh, uh, thing to do? So, uh, Ashley, apparently, uh, Uncle Roger has his own fried rice place now. Oh, he's doing it up big now, I see. Yeah. Is Dig it, yeah, digging UK? up dead people, I see. What? No, I I think it's uh, I think it's actually in uh, I want to say it's in Vietnam or like it's it's in it's in one of the Asian countries. I know that much. Because I know I know he's from Malaysia. Like he's a Malaysian guy. Okay. Good from the UK. Wow. Uh, yeah, the one down the one upside of COVID is that it somehow gave like entrepreneurial comics an opportunity to like shine and motherfucker has his own fried rice restaurant. Uh, uh, cold war, Malaysia. Uh, yes. Hard cold Malaysia. War in Malaysia. Seventh floor of Pavilion Elite. 
Yeah. Uh, I watched a recent video where he went to a place. I think it was in Singapore, though, where he got to try durian ramen. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That must have smelled awful. Yeah, I know. That just looked absolutely awful. I hope it tasted good, because I know durian smells like rotted animal. <laughs> rotted animal. I mean, I've actually smelled durian before. It does reek. Yeah. Yeah, it's... The, the fact that they brought it on to the, uh, the cooking contest show Chop, I'm like, why were they not gagging? Like, I'm a smell-based person. If I smell something that smells rotted or nasty, I get upset. But isn't, I know sometimes the smell doesn't always equate to the taste. Isn't the whole thing that durian smells really bad, but it actually tastes very good? Depends on the person. Yeah, it depends on the person. It depends on how I ain't eating a person. Taste. I'm eating durian. <laughs> it just, the thing is, it's so bad. It smells so fucking bad that in other countries, they have literally banned people from eating it in public. Like, you could yeah. buy it, you could take it home. You just cannot crack it open in public and just start munching on it. Yeah. The cops will be like, hold on right there. Is that durian? Take that shit home. It smells like skunk asshole. I'll write you up. I'll give you a citation. All complaints can be addressed to Ashley Miller, Kara. Yes, mm -hmm. what? That's my cop voice. But That's listen, my cop voice. But don't, don't complain to her during a full moon because then... <laughs> <laughs> then then I will come to your house... I will piss in your gas tank. I will then fuck your father, and then I Excuse will. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa! I will eat everything in the trash can. Fucking. What? Excuse you, me. You, you need to watch your filthy mouth. You cannot fuck my father. He is ash. Oh, oh, good. Then it's just a light crop dusting. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Y'all finish Goodbye. this episode yourself. <laughs> okay, fine. So I'm just standing in the hallway Bobby because I can't control. My titties. <laughs> True. You people are you people are out of line. I'm not in line because I'm in bed, tired. <laughs> but my, who left? It, who fucking left? Jason did. <laughs> well, hopefully he comes back. Okay, he came back. He couldn't do the sound effect because he's not at home, so he did it for reals. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, I'm, What's the matter? I'm sorry if people uh. are lucky. Does anybody, anybody else got anything funny they want to say? Yes, pickle slices. So, if a clown gets an erection, is that a funny bone? Yes. Okay, good to know. <laughs> hey, kids, I'm Krusty the Clown, and I have an erection. <laughs> How many more minutes till this episode's over? About 15. Well. Oh, shit. I found a bonus level, apparently. Oh, shit. Save the pharaoh and the monkeys and every other creature that is innocent. Oh my goodness. 
Like, I can't believe I wasn't able to go to the concert. I was so fucking tired. So, like... I had a feeling that I would have passed out behind the wheel. So, yeah, I'm, I made the right call. What concert this were you going to go to? I was going to go see the Buzzcocks. Oh. It was Buzzcocks and Love Crimes. And I think a local band that I sadly uh, will miss, but... I mean, the tickets was only like 30 something dollars. Now the concert in May, I'm not going to miss that. I'm going to go see a perfect circle, Primus and Pussifer. Okay. And I'm going with uh, a former workmate of mine and her husband. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a big one. Well, guess it's I, celebrating. Guess I ain't going to that one then. Um, you can if you want to. Just you got to let me know yeah, if you're but going. I figured you were tell you told me because you told me about it over Facebook. And I assumed the attention of telling me that is because you wanted me to go with you or maybe potentially be like the ride up there. But I, I see how it is. It's fine. No, I I want I was telling you about it and I would love to. No, 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 you know what? No, no. You you blew it. You you fucking blew it. You're patient. Hey. I told yeah, my cat, work catfish. I told my work friend because her and I went to go see Imagine Dragons and she's also a fan and we would love to have my friends come to the show. Especially if they've never seen these bands before. You've never seen them. The tickets go on sale tomorrow. I was just able to get a pre-sale ticket, but I also didn't have the money to cover an additional ticket. If that mm. makes sense. A likely story. Um, The ticket oh. was about as cheap as I could get, but also I added a... The I think it's called the AAA premiere, and the AAA premiere allows me to get uh, clean toilets, access to a personal bar, and wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. A minute. So if you clean? didn't get these tickets, you'd have to shit in a really bad a toilet. dirty toilet. Let's just say it's like an executive washroom. Before. And I would rather pay the extra money to be able to use a clean executive washroom than to use a urinal. Well, be really. Not a urinal, be kind of, I was gonna say, it'd be kind of difficult for you to use a urinal, Ashley. Girls can use a. I, I mean, a fucking porta potty, but girls can use urinals. They just wouldn't use them the way that you use them. Yeah, Are no, you sure you, about you that? Just put your pissy little ass in those things. You don't want to do that. Or maybe, or maybe I'll just Spider Man up the wall and just hunch there. That's fucking stupid. Why would you do that? You risk peeing all over the wall just to pretend you're Tom Goddamn Hardy? I think you mean Tom Holland, but. Whatever the fuck. Enough. I don't care, Bane. What? 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 what, what if you would like, Mike, I will, I will check the tickets tomorrow, and I will secure you a ticket. And if you Why want you me, to say me when Ashley was the one who said this stupid thing. No, he said Bane, not Dane. Oh, oh that yeah. makes that's why I did the voice. Because Tom Hardy is Bane. He's also Venom. Yeah. There, there one was my confusion because Tom Hardy was in Spider Man. <laughs> um, Tom Hardy is Venom. Yes. And Ashley's a werewolf. Yes. We've established this. Just like t t Zeus is alive. Yes. Tiny Lister's dead, though. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, would you like for me to check and see if there are any other volunteers okay. available there tomorrow? There are 55 sure. levels. Plus seven bonus levels in this game. All right, what um, level was I on? I don't remember. You're at you're at like 35 or 36. Yeah, probably not gonna finish this yeah. game.
to the event. So unfortunately, it's, it's probably it's fine. It wasn't. I didn't exactly pick it. Finishing yeah, this I would say I don't. I didn't pick the game because I thought I was going to finish it anyway. So close. I picked the game because it was something so fun to play for Halloween. I say just play as much as you can. No, I figured I'd stop now with ten minutes left in the show. Yeah. Ass. Game over, man. Game over. Yeah, but my intent w wasn't to finish this game anyway. It, my intent was to play as much as possible. God damn it. Get the fuck. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh the tourists sure. down in Africa. Okay, so that's what I missed. Huh. Now, if I'm able to check for lawn tickets, if I cover, well, if I was to get a lawn ticket for you, did you want me to add the premiere, which is just $25 extra? Depends on the price. Get back uh, to me all about I know, that. Okay. Because when I got the lawn ticket, which is like all all the way in the back, it was like 60 something because the closer up you get is a price I'm not willing to pay. Like, I think the VIP tickets are running $400, but you're like all up in their shit. All up in their shit. I just hope that there's some lawn tickets left, because if not, it's probably gonna. You, I don't know. It's, it's you'd probably be a little ahead of us. But I would love to see a lot of my friends there at that show. Like even the guy who owns the record store near me, he's probably seen these guys hundreds of times, like in Japan and all over the United States. I would love to see him there too. Where Me. in the hell is this last thing? Where in the hell is Carmen San Diego? But a woman bound Yeah, but I got a question. Do you go to Broadway shows? No, he no. hates the theater. Fucking <laughs> smart ass. Why do you want like, to know? There's a show that's going to be opening up in December on Broadway, and I really wish that I could go. What show? It's called All In. No, that's AEW. No, that's, that's <laughs> what it's, it's called All In. And hardly anybody Comedy goes to that show. Because fucking Fred Armisen's it. Yes, I know. Well, I mean, Mulaney's in it, too, and Alex Timbers is in it, too. Actually, Alex Timbers is the director. But how did you know? Because I'm a theater person. Yeah, because he hates theater, obviously. I'm just I despise theater. I just wish I wish that I could see it, and I don't know if it's going to be on Broadway HD. Well, did you say, see, here, did you say Broadway HD? Yeah. If you're seeing it's life in. If you're seeing life in standard definition, I got news for you. <laughs> it's there's a website where you can watch Broadway shows. It's true. Oh. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But here's the thing. I don't, I don't know what all of their catalog is, so it's like I, I don't know if they would have all in. I don't know if they would have any version of spam a lot. Don't be such a glamour. Don't make love to the camera. Don't so I figured I figured if you went, like tell me tell me how a show was and it's like I kinda wish that I could just take the car and go on the road trip and see it and then just get the fuck back, but well, 
take the fucking initiative and go. In her defense, that is a long car drive. We've done it before. I, I, I know. I was joking about it. And it's like if I had to crash somewhere, I at least have one contact in Staten Island that I could probably pop a squat with, provided I make him breakfast. Um, yeah, about that. Not you. I know you oh. don't have the room. There's someone else on Staten Island. Yeah. Who the you're, hell do you know? Who yeah, else? Dane, you're not the only person on Staten Island. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm not? No. All this time, I thought I was the only one. Sorry, you're not the Highlander. Who's the other dicky lip small Roni that you know on Staten Island? <laughs> His name's Tom Bryce. He's uh, he's the owner of Sportswire Radio. He also uh, knows that I happen to be a big comedy aficionado, and it's like. You saw Fred Armisen. That's great. That's fantastic. I hope you had fun. <laughs> no, like, he really is that guy. Like, he was... ask Mike. He's, he's, Mike has been on his sports Wait a minute. Though. He's that Are you guy. You know about the guy with the fucking weird ass sideburns? Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually forgot that he, he lives on Staten Island. Yeah. Oh. You, you know Tom Bryce, Dan? I I don't know him down there, but I know, I know what he looks like. <laughs> I know how to avoid him in the case of emergency. No. <laughs> Fucking Ambrose Burnside looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <coughs> he is a nice dude, though. I've been, I have been on his show. Oh, he's absolutely, he's an absolute darling. And he's kind of like provided this platform for underground wrestlers and backyard wrestlers to wrestlers. kind of yeah. spread and wrestlers. It's I didn't, I didn't know you guys were on the show. Yeah, he what? promotes XCW. So, yeah, oh. a lot of us get to be on get interviewed on Sportswire. Have you and ever said, hey, Dane Forgiola is on Staten Island? No, it's, uh, that's never come up, mainly just because oh. we were talking about wrestling, which is, you know. Um, I know wrestling. I know you know wrestling, but you're, what are you sh- you're what are you not ashamed a, of me, Dad? You're not a wrestler. No, I'm not ashamed of you, son. If I was ashamed of you, I would have pushed you for your fetus back into my your mother. <laughs> What the fuck? Why? I don't know. <laughs> that was you. I don't know what the that hell was you. That wasn't I don't me. know what the hell that is wrong with you, dumbass. Lots. Now, well, now I have to listen. Well, now I gotta listen. I gotta find this episode that you're on. I, I did two of them, and the last one, XCW doesn't even acknowledge because it was around the time that I quit. Hmm. And of course, I gave those motherfuckers free promotion for like one of their big, big matches that they had. But you know, what do I know? Not a lot. <laughs> Eat a dick. Thoughts arrive like butterflies. So he changes the way I am. Cool guy. Cool guy. Mike and I probably both have a car that is good enough to make a kind of like road trip to New York. Uh, My car car is definitely good enough to make that, that drive, yes. I, yeah. It needs an oil change, which I will be getting probably on my next paycheck. But, yeah, outside of that, yeah, it's absolutely capable of getting to New York and back. <gasps> you can't be serious live for two. That would be cool. As long as we don't have, well, as long as we don't have 14 people on the cast this time, 
I think that was. I kinda, would say. I would I say feel six. Like, I would, we'll yeah, I was gonna say six. if as long as it, I think if it's just me, Dane, Jason, Ashley, and Billy, I think that would probably be enough. I'll be honest. Don't need a hundred hundred thousand people. Maybe one extra person outside of that. Maybe a local. Eh, maybe not. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Tom Brooks. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, well, unfortunately, this is where our journey ends uh, for uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, I, I, like I said, we weren't going to finish it, and there was no way in hell. But uh, I hope you enjoyed Halloween week. We still have one more episode, a special Friday airing of Retro Roulette tomorrow. We normally only air Monday yeah. through Thursday. But tomorrow we'll be presenting the final edition of Halloween week here on Backseat Gamer and Retro Roulette. For the third episode of the Romhack Roulette, all of us are on that as well. So be sure to tune in tomorrow at the same bat time, same bat channel. And then we're back to normal on Monday. So uh, we will see you later. For the, uh, for, but be sure to hit subscribe, by the way. Hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joe, and Jason Amherst, and Asher Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying, Boo! Haunted House. Boo! Au revoir. Au revoir.